know what? Uh, I'm going to try not to screw this up again. If I could ask you guys to leave the lane in front of that color guard open, that color guard's going to walk to the front, so please leave that lane open. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for being here this morning. I'm sorry that it's windy. I tried to talk to God, and he just let it keep being windy. So, But it's a little bit better. Amen? Amen. And the sun is up, and it's not even trying to snow, so we're having a good morning. So, if you all would um, please, I'd like to thank the U.S. NORAD NORCOM Joint Color Guard for being with us this morning. And if you are military... If you'd like to salute all others, please uncover for the presentation of colors. Please cover your left heart. Okay, please uh, remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Round of applause for the U.S. NORAD NORCOM Color Guard, Joint Color Guard. Next, I'd like to thank the American Legion Riders Post 38 for taking us through the parade with a mounted color guard this morning. Can I have you please give them a nice round of applause?
right, if you'll join me in a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for today and all things in it. Lord, I thank you that the sun is shining on our faces this morning. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to serve needy children in the Colorado, southern Colorado area through this event. And I thank you that bikers are the most amazing giving people on the planet. Thank you that they are here today to support that cause. Lord, I ask that you would uh, just guard us as we ride from here downtown to Cowboys. Protect the police as they block for us and help us to arrive safely at our destination. Lord, I give you everything in the day, all things in it, and I give you all honor, praise, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so next, I'd like to thank our sponsors. And as I thank these sponsors, I want you guys to keep in mind that everybody on this sponsor list donated anywhere from $500 to $1,000 to help us get that police escort so that we could get downtown safely. And yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And then on top of that, some of them donated some leather jackets for downtown. Some of them uh, donated some large um, other prizes. So when we get downtown, keep that in mind. But after I rattle off this list, consider giving some of these people your business as a thank you. Pikes Peak Harley Davidson, Law Tigers, Rocky Mountain Motorcycle Museum, Century Casinos, XRP 1039, American Bike Tailor, Pro Promotions, The Sanctuary Church, 94.3 Kilo, Shortstop Hamburgers, The Colorado Early Education, and the parking lot that we are standing in. Thank you so much. Olson Plumbing and Heating, I'm sorry, The Electric Company, Curves, Tracy and John Gamelke, individuals. The Kelsey family, individuals. Cowboys Nightclub. Integrity Bank and Trust. The Burns Law Firm. Coors. Miller Lite. Diamond Express. Pike Speak Indian. Pike Speak Indian. Whole bunch of merchandise from the Indian family. And last but certainly not least, we are benefiting who? Toys for Tots. It's freaking windy. All right, so the beneficiaries of these toys, if you guys didn't know this, and I didn't know it a couple of years ago, but if you don't know this, what I love about what Jim did with this was he put it together so that it doesn't go into Colorado Springs, into all of the toy you know, donations around Colorado Springs. These toys, a lot of them are going to end up out in eastern Colorado, in Ellicott, Yoder, Calhan, where people are sometimes living 10 people deep in a fifth wheel, and they don't have any gas money to drive into Colorado Springs and get 10 toys for their kids. So we're going to be taking these toys out there. We're going to be taking them up to Cripple Creek and Victor, where, again, they can't often afford to drive into Colorado Springs where they can get all the, all the toys for their kids. So, and then Vets for Vets, we're working with them real closely this year as well to make sure that homeless vets that don't want to be homeless anymore are going to have toys for their kids. So, if you can really keep that in mind as we are downtown, all of the money from the raffle and auction downtown, every penny of it, not one penny of that money is kept for anything. All of it is going to go to purchase more toys for these communities. So please give generously when we get downtown. And there are some amazing, amazing um, toys down there. So keep all of that in mind. I would like to take a moment to thank Jim Ware. First of all, I think that it's important that y'all understand the literal crap ton of work that it takes to do this. And Jim and his people have been doing this for 32 years. So can we give him a round of applause, please? When we get downtown, keep in mind that you might also want to thank Pam and Becky for the crap ton of work that they've been doing for 32 years. And I am amazed that a small group of people were able to pull off what a large group of my people are, uh, are pulling off here. More than anything, Jim, I want to thank you that you believe in us at Bikers Church. I want to thank you that you uh, called and asked us to take this over. It is our honor to take this over. And we would like to see this happen for at least another 32 years before we turn it over unless I die in the meantime. 
So once again, I just want you all to thank Jim um, for the work that he's done, and I personally am honored. Thank you. All right, so when we leave out of here, we're going to try to get to our destination incredibly safely, right? All right. We are going to leave out of the, north, or the south end of this parking lot. We are going to be going about 30 miles an hour. We're going to leave out of here. We're going to go out to Garden of the Gods. We're going to go up Garden of the Gods, UCCS Hill, up over Austin Bluffs. We're going to take a right-hand turn on Union. We're going all the way down Union to Pikes Peak. We're going down Pikes Peak, and we're going to continue on Pikes Peak as it turns into Colorado. We're going to take a right-hand turn on Nevada, a left-hand turn at Pikes Peak. And when we get down there, Santa Claus and I and the color guard are going to be positioned for about a minute at that intersection of Pikes Peak and northbound Tejon. The rest of you are going to go into the parking lot, and I'm going to ask you that as you go into that parking lot, you respect the people in that parking lot and please park exactly as they ask you to park. If you are on a trike or a slingshot, any kind, if you're towing a trailer, I'm going to ask that you park on Pikes Peak. Do not try to go in that lot. It will be easier if we have nothing but two wheels parked in that lot, and we're going to park you tight in there. Do not try to park three deep in that parking lot. Um, I would appreciate that. All right. I have way too much paper. So as we, as we go down, I want you to keep in mind that you are going to have cops. If you're on the left side, you're going to have cops passing you really fast. If that makes you nervous, you're in the wrong place. So if, I hope if you're on the left-hand side of one of these rows, don't let the cops pass in you, freak you out. When you're making right-hand turns, I want you to make tight right-hand turns. If you are really comfortable riding two side-by-side, Great. If you are not comfortable riding side by side and you ride staggered, I need for you to, if you're on the right, stay tight in the right hand turn. If you're making a left hand turn, stay tight in that lane so you don't jack with a police officer, but uh, swing wide enough, but stay in your right hand lane. Please don't throttle hard or brake hard. We really don't want to create a, an accordion effect as we're riding down the road. And uh, spectators along the way, they're going to be waving and doing all kinds of fun stuff, and that's great. Pay attention to the bike in front of you, um, the bike beside you, and the police as they pass by. So if you're showing off for the spectators, watch your ass. All right. Um, you have that one. All right. If the parking lot backs up or fills up really fast, you can feel free to park on Tejon Street. But keep in mind that when the color guard turns onto Tejon Street, it's going to take them a minute to get situated in their parking formation. The police are going to block the southbound lane of Tejon to make sure that that happens safely. But if you are not wanting to park in that parking lot, please fill up Pikes Peak first and honor the color guard as they park. Do not park in the middle of the street down there. Although we have the meters covered for bikes, traffic is open, so don't park in the middle like we're doing Tejon Street Bike Fest, because we're not. Once you get parked down there, deliver your toys to the toy trailer. The young Marines will be in the toy trailer. There will be a pretty lady at that toy trailer that will give you a raffle ticket after you've donated a toy, and then you can head inside. We will have uh, raffle tickets for sale here for just a few more minutes. No, they left. I lied. They're gone. They'll have raffle tickets for sale down at Cowboys. And we're having 50-50 tickets for sale down at Cowboys as well. And remember, 100% of all the proceeds go to the raffle and auction. So be generous when you're bidding. Buy lots of raffle tickets. Be safe as we ride downtown. And... Stay in the right lane. Whatever you do, stay, everybody, stay in the right lane. Perfect? Amen? All right, here comes the officer. Hi there. I'm Sergeant Jason Reese. I'm with the Motorcycle Unit. Thank you for everybody coming out today. We appreciate all of you. So how many have done this before? Raise your hand. Awesome. Watch them when you're doing this. Who has not done it for first-timers? Welcome. 
All right, I cannot stress enough, stay in the right lane. Um, like she was saying, the motorcycles are gonna be flying past you and they're gonna be doing extremely high speeds, like 90, 80, 90, 100 miles an hour as they're coming past you. Do not get into that left lane. You do not own that left lane, that is ours, okay? Bad things happen if you all come in that left lane. Uh, our job is to get you there safely and we're gonna do that today. Thank you everybody for coming out. All right, I think we're ready, so if you'll make your way to your motorcycles. The one last thing I do want to say is, as you are leaving this parking lot, please respect the people that are taking you out of here. Don't move until they release your lane. All right, they know exactly who goes first, who goes second, and who goes last. So pay attention to them. Thank you so much.
seven zero 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 six. Six nine nine. 